Everybody's going to ask about the Hurricanes. The, I think the Hurricane's going to hit north of me. So we're going to end up driving through all the rain. Uh, I don't think it's going to bother us that much. All right, it's Wednesday afternoon. Um, we loaded our little boats this morning, and we're now in Effingham, Illinois. My Illinois. Way. I was um, gonna get my oil changed at the Loves last night, but they didn't want to do it, <laughs> so I uh, I went out of my way to come down here to Joe's Truck Loop. We're now in line at the uh, truck wash, but uh, Joe's is right behind me. Um, we loaded some little boats today. They're uh, cute little things. We gotta take a look at them. So we loaded these little boats. We got three of them. And uh, let me step back here. Let's see. But uh, they're cute little things. <laughs> uh, let's see, we got uh, Myrtle Beach and I think Wilmington, North Carolina. But we got the truck lubed oil change there's joe's truck lube across the street over there but i figured i'd go ahead and uh, get the truck washed since i got just a little bit of time we'll get the dorsey trailer all cleaned up back here i uh I put that piece of carpet on there to keep it that little tongue from rubbing on the trailer. But so I got big news about my alignment uh, issues, and I'll talk to you guys later about that. But we're finally going to get that fixed. There's old Bailey up in the window. sticker <laughs> I'm almost embarrassed to say how many miles I had on the oil change <laughs> uh, 23,000 miles on the oil change but in my defense I don't idle because I run my generator all the time but uh, I never could get over here to Joe's, so I went out of my way to get over here today. But uh, trying to take care of the old cat. All right, we're just about ready. Like I said, I got the oil changed in the truck. And uh, I think I told you guys I was a little embarrassed at how many miles I had on this oil. 23,000. Ah, oh, oil looks good. So, everything else looks good under here. Um, I think I told you guys, or I'm going to go home probably not next week, the end of next week. I should be home. Hang on a second. carrier so at the end of next week I should be home is that right no the end of the following next week anyway I'm going home and I'm gonna put the truck in the shop and I'm gonna get alignment done I'm getting everything I'm gonna have them check all the bushings everything everything back here check all the bushings back here and try to do away with this eating up tires you can see 
See how that tire's wearing funny? Matter of fact, all of them are wearing funny. So there's something going on back here. I'm not too sure what it is. But I'm gonna take it to a spring shop, alignment shop. That's all they do. So that's what we loaded yesterday afternoon. It is an empty shipping container that they've converted to some kind of office building thing. And I don't think I've ever had a 40 foot shipping container on the trailer. And you know there's a bow in the trailer. So I had to put it towards the back because they had two pallets of stuff right there. And I wanted the pallets of stuff in the front that way I keep an eye on them in the mirror. If they're in the back back here, I can't see them. So what I had to do is, there's the center of the trailers right here. So it's about from right here. And then I put a four by four in the back back here. And then chained it down. So it's riding pretty good. But I think what they're doing with these things because there was a bunch of them that are going down there is they're stacking them together and making almost like a two-story office building I believe you can see how the wear pattern on the tires so I'm finally gonna get all that fixed because <laughs> right now that's the biggest issue with this truck is the alignment even the new tires I put on you can see right there Old Bailey's ready to go so I think we're going to stop at the Petro in Florence and get fuel. It looks like uh, about the best place. What's next? I'm tired of feeling like a small fish in a big pond. I think I go back where I came from. Where everybody knows my name. My friends are still the same. I guess the slow life hit me just right like a bonfire on The Petro in Florence, South Carolina. We're gonna get some fuel. Let me get the pump started. So by my calculations, we should uh, should be getting about 140, 150 gallons. Bailey checking things out. So always, whenever I get fuel, come back here, check my load, check tires, basic walk around. Everything back here is riding pretty good. So, all right, that wasn't too far off. We got 137 gallons. I thought we'd be right around 140, 150. So I got one problem. And I should have thought of it yesterday when I was loading. See that binder right there? And this chain is loose right there. So I'm gonna crawl up there, see if I can get that to uh if I can get that binder out of there. And then run that chain over this way, and then put that binder right here so I can tighten it up. You see how it's loose right there. Oh, I should have thought about that when I loaded it.
Okay. That was actually a little easier than I expected. So now, what we're gonna do, I still have to have backward force on the chain. So I'm gonna take this chain, run it down here, come under here, leave it hooked to there, and then put the binder right here. make a lot of work for myself uh, this chains too short to go in here and come back but those chains there are about a foot longer so I'm gonna take this chain out swap it with another chain it's a lot of work but at least I don't have to worry about it I should have thought about all this yesterday but the end of the day sometimes brain don't work right so uh, the other option let me see here let me think would be right there let me try something hang on all right we'll do it like this so what it's gonna be it'll look like this right here as long as the handles not in the way of the tires so we're gonna do it like that See that twist? I gotta get that twist out of there. All right, that'll work. So, see how much tighter that chain is now? Comes down. I needed the backward force there so uh, that's not in the way of the wheels or mud flaps or anything let's go to the other side double check let's take a look so you see how that comes down that way same direction as the other one so that looks good that's good and tight all right much better I uh, I should have known better yesterday Still do laundry tonight. Just 
got one little load to do. It's not a lot. Not a lot. stop next to a lake gotta make sure there's no alligators in there so be careful when I take Bailey out snatch her up um real quick I had somebody ask how do I mount that desk camera right here or magnets to screw into the bottom of the camera mount it's a standard uh, quarter inch camera mount and these magnets are just uh, the magnets for oversized signs that I bought in a truck stop so that's what I use they work out pretty good and then it's stuck to the uh, the CB it's at the bottom of the CB so I was sitting here thinking I was looking uh, I think Tomorrow we'll drive some tomorrow. Uh, we'll go on down into Florida, down to uh, Palm City. There's a rest area down there. And I think that's where I'm gonna end up, is that rest area. That'll put me about 100 miles from where I gotta deliver for Tuesday morning. So we'll take a reset down in the at the rest area make sure I fill up my water tank and uh, make sure I got plenty of fuel but all right we're gonna call it quits for today not it wasn't a bad day it went pretty good it went pretty good so uh, hopefully tomorrow is not that bad. all right good morning we're uh, still over here in Kingsland I think it's Kingsland Georgia at the Petro. Um, I figured I was going to have some questions about if I was over height or not. So this crate or this crate, this uh, Connex box is eight and a half feet tall from the top to the bottom. That gives us 60 inches, five feet that we can have the height of the trailer. So a legal load in um, the United States is 13.6. So as long as you're 13.6, you're not considered over height. So we'll go right here. I'm gonna try to do this. Hang on a second. Okay, so you see the top of the trailer is right at 60 inches. And this is the highest point of the trailer. We're at the, the top of the arch. So we're right at 60 inches. This shipping container is eight and a half feet tall. So right here, we're 13.6. And then we'll come over here. And then you can see top of the trailer is about 50 59 and a half inches so you can see so that'd be eight and a half feet there so we're legal here we'll go back here and we'll check this back corner here all right so this is the back corner and you can see to the bottom of the connex box is 58 inches I think we have up to six inches. so actually this is about all the way up there is about 13.4 so uh, we're still legal there 
But I thought I would show you guys that. All right, good morning. It's, it's Monday morning. We're gonna end the video this morning because I wanted to show you guys where I was camped out at. I'm, uh, I'm at the way station here in Florida on I-95. That's south. We're about 100 miles north of Miami. And this is, I think I showed you guys this thing we got to deliver. But we're gonna stay here and take our 34. This is a uh, truck rest area slash welcome center. I don't know what you would call it, but there's actually restrooms and everything down in that building down there on the other side of that truck. But I parked, I parked, <laughs> I parked over here uh, because it was nice and quiet. Somebody was honking. <laughs> Saw me outside filming. Look at it, nice and quiet. They got parking over there. I did start over there. I parked over there first, but uh, nobody comes in here. <laughs> it's nice and quiet. I think there was like three trucks in here last night. But anyway, we're gonna hang out here today and leave tomorrow morning to go down to Miami. Thanks for watching.